Have you ever waited on the Lord? Are you waiting on the Lord? Are you waiting for something to happen? I work in a hospital as a chaplain, and perhaps the most frequent thing I hear from patients is, I'm waiting for the doctor. I'm waiting to hear for the results of the biopsy. I'm waiting. I'm waiting to be healed. Waiting is something we do a lot of. And God has a lot to say about it in Scripture. Perhaps the most common or, let's say, frequently thought of Scripture is in Isaiah 40.31 that says, Those that wait on the Lord will renew their strength. They will mount up on wings as eagles. They will run and not grow weary and walk and not faint. It's a wonderful promise. There are some 7,500 promises in Scripture from God. Many of them are about waiting, waiting on the Lord. The Psalms, from which we have been pulling our thoughts each week, has a lot to say about waiting. Psalm 5 says, In the morning we lay our request before the Lord, and wait in expectation. You surround them with your favor as with a shield. I like that promise. We wait in expectation, but you surround us with a shield. Protection from God. Psalm 37, 7 and 34 say, Be still before the Lord and wait patiently for him. Wait for the Lord and keep his way. He will exalt you to inherit the land. Similarly, Psalm 40, 1 says, I waited patiently for the Lord. He heard my cry. He lifted me out of the slimy pit, out of the mud and mire. He put my feet upon a rock where I could stand firm. That's an incredible promise. God will take us out of the mud and mire. Eventually, as we wait for him, it's often as we know his timing and his ways, as Isaiah 55 tell us, I waited. I waited for the Lord. In my book, Great is God, Faithfulness, There are a number of thoughts, images. The cover has a picture of a large rock. The rock represents God to me. It's a 36-hour exposure, a pinhole, a pinpoint photography. 36 hours. My cousin, the photographer, waited for that image. And it's an incredible image. We wait, we wait so often for God to appear. How do we wait? The psalmist in 130 tells us, I wait for the Lord, my soul waits, and in his word I put my hope. My hope waits for the Lord more than a watchman waits for the morning. As we put our hope, and wait actively for the morning, for our deliverance. We receive it. Isaiah also tells us that we are blessed if we wait. The disciples waited in the upper room for Jesus, for his promised gift of the Holy Spirit to empower them. And the Holy Spirit came, and the Holy Spirit has come for us. We are waiting for the blessed hope of our faith, the return of Jesus Christ. His timing and his ways are not ours. As we wait, let's wait in expectation, in prayer, in hope, waiting patiently for God. If you are waiting for a prodigal son to return, they will return. Think about how the father loved the prodigal. 
If you're waiting for healing, continue to pray. God will heal us. He wants us healed spiritually first, and then in body. Wait on the Lord, and in due time, he will lift you up. Amen.